What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you a special video for this holiday season. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite Christmas films to watch during the holiday season. So I hope you guys enjoy the list. Let's get to that video. Roll it. So today we're going to be talking about my top five Christmas films to watch during the holiday season. I'm going to go over all five of them and then talk about my favorite scenes from each one of them. So let's kick this list off, starting with number five. My number five favorite holiday film to watch during this season is going to be Jingle All the Way, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. I'm definitely a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. I love Predator. I love the Terminator films and True Lies. And when this one came out, I was definitely interested to see other stuff he can do in that comedy range and all that kind of stuff and it's really cool to see a dad who would go that far to get a toy for his son the toy that he wants the turbo man so it's really funny it got crazy antics throughout the whole entire film and i said arnold schwarzenegger really brings his comical aspect to this movie and it's really funny he's kind of a jerk in the film the way he goes about doing some of his things but i really like it one of my favorite scenes from the movie is when he goes to get the turbo man from the weird santas who had like live in the warehouse and they all like have these like cheap toys that they sell and everything and he ends up getting into a fight with a bunch of the santas and you end up seeing like big show as the really big santa and he wrestles with arnold schwarzenegger so that was a really cool scene i enjoyed that one for sure my number four is going to be The Night Before, starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Seth Rogen, and Anthony Mackie. I saw this film in the theaters, and I was thoroughly entertained. It's funny. It has so many good classic tropes for holiday films, but it also takes it up a notch, throwing in some crazy characters and some silly antics that they get into throughout the night. It's kind of a sad story at the beginning with Joseph Gordon-Levitt's parents dying, and that's why him and his friends are so close, is because they hang out on Christmas, and they do all their favorite things and all the best things that they like to do and all that kind of stuff so it's really cool that way my favorite scene in this film is when they go and recreate the big when they the scene from big when they dance on the piano but they do it with the kanye west song that was really funny i thought that scene was really cool so night before sitting at number four so coming in at my number three spot is going to be Home Alone 2. Yes, I'm a huge fan of the Home Alone films, and the second one was really good for me. Like, I know some people, they kind of talk crap about the second one because compared to the first one, it's, it's really not as good as the first one, I can say that, but the stuff in the second one I still really do like. The fact that he's lost in New York, because that's where my family's originally from. So there's a lot of cool shots in New York, just a lot of funny stuff he gets into and everything, and I thought it was really cool. Tim Curry is funny in this film as the butler or the main guy at the hotel that Macaulay Culkin's trying to stay at, and coming back with Joe Pesci, Catherine O'Hara, and so many of the other good actors. It's just a really great cast, Very very unique cast. My favorite scene in this film is going to be when Macaulay Culkin finally decides to go confront Joe Pesci and the, I forgot his other name, the other character's name, but him too. And he has the brick in his hand and he's like standing by the window and he's like, all right, another Christmas in the trenches and just tosses the brick right through the window to start everything off as the third act. It's a really good film. I thought it was cool. It's fun, heartfelt family film. Home Alone 2, my number three favorite holiday film. Coming in at number two is going to be the original Home Alone, starring Macaulay Culkin, the first introduction to this crazy family that he's involved with, all the cousins, his mom, his dad, just so many awesome, interesting characters to be engaged with, and we get the first introduction of the bandits in this film coming to take over and like come and get his house and rob him and Macaulay Culkin has to stand up for what he believes in and defend his house and basically become the man of the house since he's the only person there and it's just really good moments in this film just some funny unique comedy that you're never really going to get in some of the other kind of movies so I really liked it my favorite scene in this movie is probably just like the entire third act like when they're finally going to and confront Macaulay Culkin at the house and he has like the the BB gun and he's all set up like about to eat his mac and cheese and then it's like finally wartime like it's really good just funny moments 
I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I said, this film came out in like 1990 or 91. So I was like that perfect age for me when I was like that young and as as a kid enjoying Macaulay Culkin and thinking like, oh, I can defend my house and set up traps like that and stuff. So it's a cool film. I love it. Home Alone, sitting at my number two spot. So we're here at number one. And before we get to number one, consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos I post and everything and leave your comments down below. I would love to hear your list on all your favorite holiday films to watch during the season. So let's get down to my number one pick. And my number one is going to be Die Hard. Yes, Die Hard is probably by far the greatest Christmas film like I could think of it just ever like it's even though it's so action-packed and it's Monchismo, it still has a great Christmas setting and feel to it John McClane is probably one of the most interesting awesome characters he's very relatable but he's still kind of superhero status like off the wall does crazy things but you can still relate to him in a grounded way so that's why he's such a good character John McTiernan really created an amazing script and just developed this movie and the production value like oh it's just such a good film alan rickman plays one of the best villains we've ever had in cinema is hans gruber and it has just so many epic moments like it's it's hard for me to pick a favorite scene in this movie because there's just so much good stuff there's funny moments there's action there's drama like this movie really has everything you want in it and die hard's probably like it's probably like a hard nine or a ten in my book like this film goes hard i watch it like all the time for this holiday season so definitely a go-to for me Hope you guys enjoyed the list. Thanks for sticking around with me. Like I said, leave your comments down below. I would love to hear your lists and everything. And have a safe and happy holiday season. Peace out.